Yeah, yeah. Okay, have a good one. Just gotta wait for the phone to ring to get a bite. Alright guys, so give you a little picture of what's going on here. Uh, you've got a little swim bait on a Texas eye on the bottom. Other than that, it's just a drop shot rig. Uh, hook tied onto your leader with a Palomar knot, feed the tag in back through the, the hook eye so that the hook point rides up. Quarter ounce Texas eye on the bottom. It's a drop shot rig and instead of having a sinker on the bottom you've got a Texas eye so you've got a fish down here. And what I think makes this so successful is you've got bait, then you got bait fish, when you're pulling it along, that bait fish is chasing this bait. Anytime a fish sees another fish trying to get a meal, they want in. Got off the bait and then jumped clean out of the water. Oh. That's what keeps it fun. Ha, see what happened. He come to hit this, and then when he got off, the uh, hook from the swim bait hooked him, and that's what made him jump. Good hook set right in the corner of the mouth. It's a decent fish. He's probably 16, 17. Oh man, right in that gristle. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Yeah, 17. Same deal, live shrimp, swim bait, chasing the live shrimp. Both of those bites I just had was bringing it down these pylons here, just down the edge of the pylons. Trout are sitting right on the edge. nice when you like literally have to go 100 yards from the dock and you can sit here and catch fish.
beleza? These jokers are feisty today. Oh, he's bigger than the last one. He might be close to 20. Chill out, let me open my bail. Wet your hands before you grab them, especially if you're going to let them go. Nice fish. Eighteen. I didn't even bring my tackle box. I was gonna put another piece of plastic on and see if uh catch him on something other than a shrimp but I got a bucket full of shrimp so that's what we're gonna keep doing Both my dogs sitting up here on the hill just looking at me like, what you doing down there? Oh, yep. Oh, he got off. That one hit the swim back. All right, guys. I'm going to show you how to rig what I call the double shot. It's basically a drop shot rig instead of a sinker on the bottom. You've got a little swim bait, a weighted hook. Uh, you could use a Texas eye if you wanted to. The whole thing with the bottom is making sure that it's weedless because most of the places I fish this is heavy structure. Um, lots of shells or you know like rock, high bluffs with rocks and pilings and trees, lay downs, stuff like that. Um, and it's not a lot of long casts. It's more little short flips close to the boat, jigging it up and down in deeper water, six, eight feet and deeper, like, you know, sometimes down to 20, 30 feet. Um, so basically, you can pull you about three feet a liter off. You'll be the leader through the hook eye. You're gonna tie a Palomar knot, and you want to leave a good length, at maybe 16 inches or so, of leader. When you pull it through, and you're gonna feed it back through the hook eye, and slide the hook down. So this creates a loop, and the hook is, you know, on those two tag ends you're going to use the loop to tie an overhand knot around both pieces of that leader feed the hook back through that loop before you cinch it down Give it a little lube, dress it up right. Cinch it down tight. So that you got a nice compact knot. One tag end goes to your main line 
the other tag end you want to feed back down through your hook eye with your hook point riding up. So your hook point's up, you want to feed that tag end down. And then pull it. So what that does is keep your hook standing out straight up with the hook point up on your line. From there, you'll take your swim bait with your swim bait hook. I usually go with quarter ounce in those deeper areas. If I'm fishing you know, a little shallower, maybe go to a 3 16 um, What I do here is a loop knot. So you'll tie overhand knot in your leader, feed the tag through the hook, feed that tag in back through the overhand knot the same way that it came through. So I look at it as there's a top and a bottom to your overhand knot. You want to feed it back up through the bottom, four twists, and then back down through the top. Press it, cinch it down. Clip off your leader, I mean your tag in, and there you go. So you've got your bait, swim bait down here. You've got your octopus hook, tied on with a Palomar knot, roughly a foot above the swim bait. At this point, you can put another piece of plastic on, a smaller profile like a little curly tail, and you'll nose hook it, come up from the bottom, stick the hook point just out of the nose of the bait, and when you're dragging it along, you know, you've got the swim bait chasing the curly tail, You can put a smaller paddle tail on, same deal, nose hook it from the belly up sticking out the front of the bait. Same scenario, smaller bait fish, larger bait fish, hopefully big predator fish. Um, you could also go with a similar size bait as what's on the bottom and then make it look kind of like a, a small school of fish. Um, to me that doesn't seem like it would be as effective. I don't really fish it that way very often. Um, fish school up as a w defense. So to have a school of fish there, yeah, I think the, the feeding scenario is Gonna, gonna get them to strike a lot more. Um, the other option to this, and this is what I've been using lately, is putting a live shrimp on the top. So you've got this smaller fish coming up and feeding on, you know, chasing this shrimp. And as you're jigging it along, the shrimp's making a, you know, get away. And it appears that this guy is coming up from the bottom and chasing it. And that, that chase scenario just gets them to strike. So it's almost always on that first jerk up where this guy's coming up off the bottom that you get your hit. Where typically it, with trout, you know, it's on the fall. They're gonna hit it while it's sinking back down. This, they're hitting it as this guy's coming up to chase it. Um, so that's, that's the double shot. Octopus hook, swim bait hook, swim bait, choice of smaller profile swim bait, uh, grubs, jerk shads, little thin swims, um, or some type of live bait.
I've never tried it with cut bait or blue crab or fiddlers or whatever, but I'm sure you know, it'd probably work. Um, but that's it. Double shot.